it's um, it's been a year now since we ended Unis Honest, which is weird because it doesn't feel like that long, but if I'm honest, it doesn't really feel like it even happened at all in a way, you know? It was just so different than anything that I had been a part of. And looking back on that year, it's weird that we even did it at all, I think. Because when people ask me about it, and when people ask how I did that, how we did that, I don't even really know how to answer because I've never been a part of something like that before. And I don't think I'll ever be a part of something like that again. I don't know how we did it <laughs> because looking back, it doesn't seem like we should have been able to, you know, make the videos that we made in the time that we made them. I don't know how we had time to do anything else. I mean, we didn't really have time to do anything else. But I think when I think about that year, um, the thing that I think about the most, I think it's just being together. Because over this past year, a lot has happened and I'm working on something that I've never done anything like this before. But the difference between what I'm doing and Unis Anis is that this time I'm alone. And not getting to share that, it's, um, it's affected me a lot more than I thought it would. And I'm proud of, of what I'm doing now but not being able to share that is, I didn't think that that's something that I, was, that I would miss as much as I do. And looking back at all we did, and like we said from the beginning, the, the videos themselves were videos, you know? Like it, it was special because it was all going away. And it was special for the audience because they got to watch it in real time they got to watch the beginning, the middle, all through the end, and they got to watch it die. But the thing that they didn't get to experience was everything in between. You know, they saw the videos that we made, but they didn't see everything that we did. They didn't see the late nights of staying up editing. They didn't see us waiting up until midnight on the 15th to release the channel they didn't get to see how it impacted all of us, and they didn't get to see a really special side of what we did. And I'm really glad in a way that they didn't get to see that because people can always try and pretend like they know what it was like to make Unis Anis, but I don't think that anybody will ever know what it was actually like because what we made was really special. And I don't think that anybody will ever be able to do that again. And I don't think that I'll ever be able to do that again. And part of that is horrifying, knowing that Unis Anis might just be the best thing that I've ever made and the best thing that I've ever been a part of. But I think with the end of the stream and the end of the channel, and going through this whole year, I've realized that I'm okay with that. And I'm okay with it being the best thing that I've ever made. And I'm really proud that it's the best thing that I've ever made. And I won't ever forget it. So, Thank you for being the best thing that I've been a part of. And um, 
just know that even though you're never coming back and even though you're only gonna live on in the memories and everything like that, just know that you're definitely the favorite thing that I've ever been a part of. And I wouldn't have wanted to do it with anybody else. So, I'll see you next year. You're not going anywhere. But, um, I'm doing good. I miss you. I'll see you next year.